Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the update view which is essentially a view that you can edit an album or object and the cool thing about this is it's actually the same exact form as adding it we just pre-populate it with whatever information is in there so it makes it really easy and also the delete view which gives the users a really quick way to delete objects so we actually need to import one more module so that's from Django core URL resolvers import reverse lazy. And we're gonna see what that does in just a second. So since creating an album and editing it are so similar, we can actually just copy this and plop it right there. So again, this is for creating a new object. However, whenever you edit it, you need to inherit from update view. And of course it's not album create, it's album update. I wish they named it edit but you know whatever i didn't make django so there you go now the last thing we need to do and guys that's it that's all you need to do for update so whenever you make the delete view and this view is going to occur whenever the user just clicks a delete button like this trash can right here so i'll name it album delete and we inherit from this class right here delete view so of course the first thing just like all of these, you need to say what model it is, what kind of object you're trying to, del to delete. Now, another thing that's a little bit different from these, you see whenever you're making a new album or editing it, you're pretty much gonna use this form right here. However, whenever you just click delete, it doesn't take you to a new form and you don't have to like fill anything out. It just pretty much deletes this and then it's gonna say, okay, after you delete an object, where do you want me to go? Because maybe you're on this details page and you delete it, well then this page doesn't exist anymore. So what we need to do is we need to use this module right here and it pretty much says, where do you want me to redirect to? So it's actually called success URL. So whenever you successfully delete an object, just call reverse lazy and then pass in the name of your view and we're just gonna redirect them to the homepage. So again, if they're anywhere and they delete an album, it's just gonna go ahead and redirect them to the homepage. Simple enough. So again, the view is music index. And that's all we need to do right there, easy peasy. So after this, we need to hop over in URLs and make our URL patterns to link an update view to this and a delete view to this. So let me actually just copy these. And I'll make a little comment above for the URL structure of each. So you guys can kind of, you know, see what's going on. So whenever we want to update a view, what we're going to do is instead of album add, we're actually going to go album and then I'll just write something like two right here. So this is the URL we're going to use and this signifies we are updating or editing the album with the primary key of two. Now, of course, in our URL structure, we can't have add right here. We need one of these thingies. And of course, instead of album create, it's actually album update. And the name of this, we'll just put album update. All right, looking good. So for deleting it, uh, what do I want to do first? Might as well just copy this. All right. So this is for editing it. Whenever we wanna delete it, it's pretty much the same URL except we call delete right after. So we can actually copy this entire regular expression and then plop delete right onto the end of it. So instead of album update, it's album delete. And instead of album add, it's album delete. All right, so this is the URL that you're gonna redirect the user to whenever they wanna create a new album, whenever they're editing, and whenever they are deleting it. So the one thing we have to do is over in our index, now that we have everything set up, we can actually link this button to this URL. So how do we do that? Well, if we go in the delete button right here, what we can do is this. So it's a URL and make sure I named the right thing, album delete. 
So it's music, album delete. And again, whenever you delete an album, we need to pass in the primary key of that album. So on the home page, we just say album.id. And there we go. And we actually don't even have um, a link anywhere that we can click and edit this album, but we can go ahead and check it out real quick. So let me do this. All right. So let me copy this structure because I'm too lazy to type two things of text. And let's say we wanted to add a link somewhere so users could edit this album. Now this album, as we see, has the primary key of six. So how would we do that? We just write music album six. Now check it out. It gives you the exact same form, but now all the information is pre-populated. So instead of rap, this was actually a country album. Hit submit. And there you go. Now, of course, to delete it, all you do is you go over to this button right here and it deletes it. And then remember, it always redirects you to the home page. And we stated that right there. So if you want to redirect them to another page, maybe it says, hey, congratulations, you successfully deleted an album. This is where you would change it. But again, look how clean our code is right now and a lot easier whenever we let Django take care of everything behind the scenes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later.